All right, everybody, thank you for joining us and uh, thank you for waiting. And welcome to our iSCSI webinar. Uh, after this brief webinar, we hope that you walk away with a good understanding of iSCSI and how you can use it to save your customers money. If you're an administrator, we hope you walk away with a tool to help save your budget. For those of you who are new to Buffalo, we've been manufacturing IT equipment for over 40 years. Our headquarters are in Nagoya, Japan, with our U.S. headquarters in Austin, Texas. We are publicly traded on the Tokyo Stock Exchange. We purpose-built we purpose build network attached storage devices for SMB, although in this webinar you'll see our 12-day rack mount NAS features uh, and these devices are not only limited to SMB, but they can also be used uh, in other size companies uh, when they are applied for iSCSI storage. And uh, I'm joined here today with Gary Thomas, our engineer, as well as Mark Green, who is one of our uh, account managers. And uh, we are going to jump right in with the topics. And uh, Gary Thomas. Right. Thanks, Matt. All right, my name is Gary Thomas. I'm a pre-sales engineer here at Buffalo. And just real quick, if you're not familiar with iSCSI, it's, it's pretty simple. It's, uh, it's literally SCSI over IP or SCSI over internet is the, uh, is the actual acronym, but I think of it as SCSI over IP. It allows you to send actual SCSI commands, read, write, et cetera, uh, over an ethernet network using TCP IP. What, you do, what that lets you do is take your storage, your NAS device, what have you, and attach that to a, a host, whether that host is running whatever operating system it's running, and have that iSCSI volume appear as a local drive to that host. All right, one of the things that uh, we like about iSCSI is that it, it offers really good performance for the value, for the money. Uh, you can get um, faster back-end SANs, but uh, faster SAN obviously is going to be very, very expensive. Whereas with iSCSI, you can use relatively inexpensive equipment to add space or to give space to any host you already have on your network. What this lets you do is you let you free up some other resources. Um, maybe you have a, a, a file server or a virtual host that's running out of space. You don't want to spend a lot of money on a new server. Um, you don't have the budget to go out and buy a, a fiber SAN. So what you can do is you can do this, add more space to that server, whatever that server is, whether it's your file server, your uh, virtual host, some other server that you have on your network. Just add more space to it and give your users good access and good performance uh, with that system. So here are some of our uh, some of the highlights, some of the benefits of iSCSI. You can add uh, a tremendous amount of space to a server. Most uh, most servers, rack servers, are, are small devices, make and uh, don't have a, a ton of space inside to add hard drives. So you can add a great deal of space with our devices up to 100 terabytes uh, of usable space on a, uh, you can add to a server without having to source hard drives or, or buy a new server with more uh, hard drive slots in it, et cetera. It still gives you very good performance uh, using, if you're using uh, 10 gigabit ethernet, then you can get close to, uh, close to local drive performance. And with a little bit of tuning, should have no problems at all. You don't have to go out and buy new equipment. Uh, I don't know if uh, how many of you have priced out fiber sands, fiber switches. Uh, these are very expensive equipment, and there's a steep learning curve on how to set them up. With iSCSI, there's there's no additional equipment. You don't have to go out and buy a whole new boat, buy new switches, and 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 learn new technology. It's all based on Ethernet, which we all already know how to do. <clears throat> One thing about some of our terra stations, the uh, 5010 series and the uh, 7000 series, they are VMware certified, so they're VMware ready. What does this mean? Um, 
The biggest point there is that if you're having a problem, if you're running ESXi and you're running into some problems and you call up uh, <coughs> VMware for help and you're using equipment that's not on their hardware compatibility list, that isn't, uh, that hasn't been certified for use with VMware, they're probably not going to provide you a lot of help. What they're going to, nine times out of ten, what they're going to say is, well, you need to make sure that you're using hardware that works with, with ESX. And they may not uh, provide you the support that you were hoping. With our devices, with the 5010 and 7000 series, they are VMware certified, they're VMware ready, they've gone through the testing process with VMware, but are on their hardware compatibility list, so there's no problem there. When you call up and talk to them, they know what you're dealing with. All right, and uh, at this point, we're going to turn it over to Mark, our account manager, and he is going to tell you how you can save money by using ice Thanks, Matt. Uh, yeah, so as you, as you can see here, we're looking at this. We we do have both uh, enterprise and business level NAS, and, and of course the iSCSI storage for those. Um, we are really uh, cost effective as a, an, an alternative and also as a complement to to SAN devices and, and servers. Um, when you look at the, you know, what's the best way to maximize some of the uh, investments in storage, um, we're, we're uh, a great option in there. Uh, you've got that ability to, um, you know, take our devices, be a, a backup to their data, and also with the, uh, uh, an addition of, a, of another terror station, we can also uh, be a pretty secure and reliable uh, disaster recovery um, set up for them as well. Um, some of the, the benefits with uh, our products when customers are registering them is we have a uh, our data recovery service, which we have uh, uh, introduced in the uh, North America and that's something that Buffalo has been doing here for about 18 months as a company. Um, this is uh, uh, for, again, any of our 3010 and 5010 and higher models. Um, the customers, when they purchase this, um, all they need to do is make sure that they do uh, register the item and then when it's within its uh, uh, standard warranty time period. It's it's something that they can submit to us and we can see if we can uh, help them get their data back if there's ever a failure there. We've also got a, a current offer going out there for an upgrade again on the, the 3010 and higher terror stations for a next business day shipping warranty upgrade. Uh, again, they just simply register the product within 30 days of purchase and they automatically get upgraded to next business day air shipping on the product. This, this greatly reduces the cost of the time it takes to recover from a failure. Um, and currently this offers uh, runs through the end of the December. And uh, do keep in mind that it's not that they have to get it registered by the end of December, but it's any purchases up until December 31st that they then have 30 days to register after that. Um, you know, just uh, some more uh, notes on our products, the 3010 series, the 5010 series, they are, uh, they're both TAA compliant. So if you've got any uh, government customers that are looking for items that fit within those requirements, we're right there on, on all the 3010 and 5010 NASs. Um, as you see there with the, the big red circle, hard drives are included with our products. So we've already got the, the hard drives in place, whether it's uh, fully populated with all the bays have drives, or we have partially populated options on some of our uh, four, eight, and 12 bay uh, NASs. And those, again, are with us putting the hard drives in there, what that does for your client is that guarantees them that those hard drives have been tested at least two more times uh, after the manufacturer has tested them for performance and compatibility. 
Um, and then the, the third thing to really point out here is, uh, again, as Gary mentioned, the 5010 series, they are VMware ready. Um, so any backup uh, scenarios, any file storage, um, and a number of other things there that are listed, of course, uh, we're, we're able to help you out there with any of these terror stations. And then one of the most key things I think that gets uh, folks uh, very happy with Buffalo and coming back again is our, our support, our customer service. Um, as you can see here, we're, we're uh, two years in a row, we've, uh, we've won the channel company's uh, annual report card. Um, and a, a huge majority of that is a, in big part to the uh, quality of the service that, that our customer support team gives. Uh, we are based in the U.S. We are uh, 24, seven days a week. Um, and so they're there. Uh, there's multiple avenues to access them, whether it be by phone, by chat, or by email. And uh, also on top of that, uh, we have a really good knowledge base. We've also got a great uh, YouTube channel with a lot of step-by-step uh, -step instructions and videos for folks to follow to help them get things configured, set up, or even to uh, kind of troubleshoot if they're having difficulties getting the product installed um, before they get in touch with support. All right, and that does it for the core of our webinar. Uh, we hope that you gained a lot of knowledge and and right now we do have time for some questions after the webinar we'll randomly select a winner for our mini station Ex extreme portable hard drive and uh let's see so go ahead and send in your questions if you have any all right so we do have a question uh, it reads which terra station nas devices are capable of iSCSI? So right now, um, essentially, with the exception of the TS-1000 series, our very entry-level terror station, all of our terror stations support iSCSI. Uh, as mentioned earlier, the 3010, or not the 3010, but the 5010 series and the 7000 series are both VMware ready, but the 3010 series as well also uh, has iSCSI support for if you need to use it for something other than ESX. All right, we hope that answered that question. Another question is, if I purchase a TerraStation NAS with the intent to use it for iSCSI storage, can Buffalo support help me with the setup? Well, they, they certainly can. We always encourage you to uh, check our knowledge base. We have several several uh, setup documents on the knowledge base to explain how to get iSCSI set up and running, how to configure the iSCSI initiator, which is on the host side, uh, regardless of whether that's a Windows host or an ESX host. Uh, if you, you take a look at those and, and go through those and, and you're solving some problems, absolutely give our tech support a call and, and they'll be uh, be happy to help you out and make sure you're on the right track and, and get uh, and get you going with that. All right, and uh, all right, that's it for the questions. I don't see any other questions coming in. So uh, once again, thank you everyone for your time and. Uh, if you do need to get in touch with us, visit our website at buffaloamericas.com, and uh, we wish you the best. Thank you.